Does religion fear monger for followers? Something that people always talk about is that I believe in something, I'm agnostic or there's something out there or whatever, but I don't like modern day religion and how it fears you into believing. And this is something that I agree with as well. And me as a Muslim American, I've always agreed with this. And I've always thought that how is someone forcing you or coercing you into believing into something? Belief has to happen because you believe, right? It always made sense to me that way. And the more older I got and the more informed I became about Islam and the religion that I followed, the more I was like, wait a minute, the Quran explicitly states there is no compulsion in religion. That basically you cannot force someone to become Muslim. Because again, to be a Muslim is to submit your will to God. So it made me realize, wait a minute. So all those different things in the media you'd see with people forcing people to become religious, those people aren't actually true Muslims. Those people aren't really religious people. You cannot force someone to become any religion. You have to believe innately within yourself or within your heart. So as a Muslim, know that, hey, I believe in my faith, I believe in my religion, and that's the relationship between me and God. Whether I sin this way or this way or that way, all of it is between you and your creator. No one else can interfere. And it's something that I've always thought about with Islam that I really enjoyed is that when you make a sin or to do things wrong and you want to talk to God, you don't have to go to a pastor or go to the father or go to whoever it is to tell him to absolve you of your sins and do Mary's or this or that. No, there's no ritualistic scheme like that. So all it is is you yourself can say, yeah, Rob, oh God, and you got instant direction calling God. And that's the way you should be. And again, there's something I've noticed in religion and faith where I can understand as to why people felt like, hey, they're fear mongering you to donate money. They fear mongering you to believe because if not, you lose your wealth, you lose your house, you lose this. But again, there is no compulsion in the religion. So again, if you want to believe in Islam, it's because you want to believe, not because someone is forcing you to believe. You should never force someone into believing something or into believing a faith. And again, and back then, people used to do this, and maybe even now, where people coerce people to believe in something or become religious in certain ways in threat of their house, their job, et cetera, et cetera. So again, it's happened in the past and it's probably happening now even today. But again, to be a truly devout Muslim and to be a true follower of God, you have to understand that you cannot force anyone to be a follower of what you believe. Something that's so important in Islam and something that I've always loved is that we have free will and personal choice. You decide what to do. You decide whether to do this or that or this. You have free will. You get to make decisions. And that is the biggest part of Islam in where we have to go through our trials and our tests. And because of that, we have our own free will to make those decisions as we see fit. And again, Allah obviously knows what's going to happen because Allah is all knowing, all seeing. But we have the decision to do what we want to be doing. So knowing this, you have to understand that if Allah has given us his free will, that we get to choose. We get to be sincere. It has to be through us to be sincere to Allah to be sincere in our prayers, to be sincere in our du'as. But this doesn't mean that it's not seen as a good thing for someone to talk about Islam or give da'wah. For example, this could be a version where I'm just saying you're talking about Islam. I'm not forcing you to watch. I'm not forcing anything, but I would love for you to watch. I would want you to learn more about Islam and say you're Muslim or not Muslim. It's a good thing to learn about different cultures, different religions. And it's always something where you have to think, okay, why am I learning? Why am I doing this? And again, that's a main driving point into giving da'wah is to educate, is to inform. Because some people might think of Islam as a barbaric religion, but when in reality, it's a religion that constantly, constantly says you cannot force someone to become Muslim. To become Muslim is because they want to be Muslim, not because someone forced them to do it. Islam always talks about having taqwa, fearing Allah alone. So only fearing God. And again, in doing so, it allows you to understand that you can't fear monger someone into religion. Because the only person you should be afraid of is God. Someone shouldn't be making you afraid of God. You fear God because you fear the consequence of when you don't do the right thing. You fear the consequence of the afterlife if you oppress people. So again, the fear isn't fear mongering from a society, but it's between you and your creator. And that's kind of how you have to see it. And again, you don't fear monger people. You do not do any of that. The only entity you should fear is Allah alone. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, also constantly talks about inviting people to Islam in a gentle manner. When you're teaching people, you teach them gently. Even when you become Muslim, it's habba habba, which means little by little. You don't just learn the whole religion overnight and are the most perfect Muslim in the world overnight. That's impossible. That's not how life is. 
even when the Quran was given to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, over time, alcohol wasn't even banned in Mecca. People were drunk around it or whatever, but it wasn't even banned right away because it was understood and known that if it was banned right away with everything all at once, no one would have followed it. So things had to happen one by one. So the same thing goes with yourself, where understand that in life, things are going to be one by one, one by one. It's not going to be all at once, which is why, again, that there's no such thing as a fear monger with this land. It's your own relationship with Allah. It's your own journey. It's your own creative ability to become better and better day by day. So thank you guys again for tuning in. I really do love doing this, talking about Islam, talking about Deen, talking about things that you may not know and or want to talk about with other people. So be sure to leave comments down below if you're curious about anything else. I would love to answer the question. And again, be sure to like, follow, share, subscribe, send it to all your friends. I really appreciate the love and support. And inshallah, I'll see you guys next Friday. See you later.